One fossil that continues to evade paleontologists is the pterosaur, a close cousin of the dinosaur. This flying reptile was one of the first animals after insects to evolve powered flight. We sit down with experts from the American Museum of Natural History who were continuing to hunt for remnants of this elusive creature. Because of the fragility of the pterosaur skeleton, there aren't many pterosaur fossils that are found. Pterosaurs have incredibly fragile hollow bones. I can say that after you know, 25 years of collecting fossils in the Gobi Desert, every single summer, we've collected thousands of dinosaurs. I've found one pterosaur bone in that entire time. A lot of pterosaur discovery is just serendipity. Some of the first pterosaurs to be discovered were discovered by quarrymen and limestone quarries in Solnhofen in southern Germany. Despite the fact that you do find pterosaurs in all continents, over 90% of all pterosaur specimens and about 50% of all pterosaur diversity only come from thrive deposits. So even if you find pterosaurs in different places, their preservation is very poor and in only five places you really have enough specimens to be able to reconstruct the whole animal and to have a better insight about their diversity. Because pterosaur fossils are so rare, every single new discovery adds to this body of knowledge that we know about. I think that there was probably thousands of different pterosaur species. We only have 150 right now. 